Last time on Sailing Zatara. We spent two amazing weeks in the U.S. Virgin Islands, snorkeling and hunting for lobsters and crabs. In St. Thomas, we came across some of the most fantastic scuba diving we've ever experienced. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They tell us off the line that I just let it float away Yeah, I let it float away I let it float away I let it float away Hey guys, welcome to the Z Show again. We are, we just left St. Thomas, which was a great place, did some really great diving over there. We're heading back to Puerto Rico for a couple of days. We gotta do some cell measurements for our new cells that we're getting from Precision Cells. Our generator, the Fisher Panda generator that we have on board, took a dump on us. It had 200 hours on it when we got the boat. It has 500 hours now. And something must have went wrong in the safety systems. I changed the oil every 100 hours and there's water in the oil, so. Instead of fixing that, I, I'll probably get it fixed. For, it probably costs a couple thousand bucks to get that fixed, but my last boat had a Fisher Panda generator in it, and I hate Fisher Panda generators. They are the most worthless piece of junk boat anchor that ever was. And, and they're brand new, and they still just problem after problem after problem. So we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to put a new Onan in of the same size. We were going to go to Tortola and get hauled out, but due to the, genera the generator taking a dump and some other uh, family issues we have, we've got to get to Florida. And then we're headed up to the Bahamas. We're gonna spend about 10 days up in the Bahamas and then we're headed over to Florida to the Miami Boat Show and uh, pick up our new dinghy, our Go Fast dinghy. We're gonna do a big show on that. I've been waiting for that forever. So stay tuned as we uh, measure cells today. We're gonna get a, I gotta get a tape measure, a uh, 100 foot tape measure so I can go up the mast and measure the measurements that they want. And we're gonna do a neat video on how to measure cells for catamarans, for precision cells. So stay tuned. I don't know who this guy is over here in the different clothes, but doesn't he look handsome? Ah, we're headed back to San Juan to get those parts and different things that Keith mentioned earlier. And then we're going to the Bahamas. Then we're going to the Bahamas. I rented us a minivan this time. No more little cars and squeezing yeah, all the kids illegally boy. into the little four-seater car. I need the little ones to get in here so I can do so This is what I'm getting. What are you for? Me measuring cells. We love overbuying things, so we end up with a billion extras. Well, he is a hoarder, yeah, so you he never is. know he is. when you're going to need those guest jeans back from 1992. <laughs> They'll be back in style. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're doing cell measurements for precision cells, and we're going to walk you guys through how to do that and exactly what they want us to do to get the right measurements for the new cells they're building for Zatara. Hi guys, we're going to pull the cell out. And once we get the sail out, then we'll drop it and we'll flake it across there. So it's very important to know where your tape measure starts. So this is four, three, two, so one is about right here. So we're going to hook the shackle back up. So, and I'm going to run this am still up the deal. We need a rod Runner. to go through there. A what? A rod so it'll spin. Well, I can spin it. No. Look at There's that. a tool oh, down there. That. I got it. Okay. I totally got it. And we're just putting this tag line on here so we can pull this back down. There you go. Yes, I love finger birds. 
So 69.4 from the tack to the head. Precision Sales provides you with easy step-by-step -step instructions on how to accurately obtain the measurements. We printed the forms out and transfer the calculations to their PDF forms online once we were finished. And now we're going to do the same thing on the measurement for the ASIN that we just did on the head cell. Okay. Okay, that's a uh, 76.8. Yeah, there you go. Now we will measure the mainsail. 70.4 plus 3. Okay, got it. Alright, we're done with that. And again, we transfer the measurements to the step-by-step -step PDF form. Last is the boom measurements. So we're going to measure the total outhaul on the bottom of the cell. What you got? 25.9. They typically don't require every piece of information, but the more you provide, the better your sale will fit. All right guys, so we finished all the measurements that we think we need. I think we're good. And uh, now we're just going to go put all those on the document that uh, Precision Sales has and uh, transcribe the uh, ones from the, the actual boat spec measurements and we'll be in good shape. So it wasn't a very hard deal to measure. It was super easy and uh, you just do it on a day where there's not much wind and get her done. Keith submits the measurements online along with some pertinent photographs. We pay the deposit and Precision begins to construct our new sails. I got a fuel line that we can run a fuel line transfer line to go from port, uh, starboard side to port side because that's where the generator is so until we get the new generator and I have a transfer system so I can transfer fuel it'll be all built in once I get it all totally done but I'll have to be able to transfer fuel from one tank to the other tank and um, but for now I'll be able to use fuel out of this starboard tank on the port side generator when are we gonna get a new one in Florida, Florida? In about a month and a half okay so we'll be living on one generator yeah. for the next six weeks. Yeah. Hi. We're back to school. It kind of sucks. We started school again. Wow, is that school on your phone, Anna? Yeah. Oh, neat new apps for learning. It's called Instagram. <laughs> Definitely helps. Snapchat. Um, uh, Jack, we need to line the rudders. Man, get in one, get in the other. Align the rudders. Align the rudders. Come on, get out to you, buddy. Scooters, kickboards up. Yeah. Scooters. Scooters. Yeah. Why do you see those boxes over there? New engines. New Yamaha engines. Told you, Dan. They just dropped them off and left them there. They didn't I don't know. I think I'm going to take them. What do you need, Dan? Uh, turn it. It's good. Mine's good. Finn's is good. Wait, Jack. Yours is good, Finn? Yep. Yeah. All right, they're good. So we're getting ready to go on a passage, Kate, three or four days. What do you think about that? Um, I guess we could go on a passage. I'm not really up to going on passage. We might have you do some day shift. Just some keeping an eye on the charts and on the weather and okay. looking out for other boats. You're up for that? Uh. <laughs> so we are filling up with fuel and heading to the Bahamas. What's that on your nose? <laughs> That's a double backflip gone wrong. <laughs> Yesterday we went to the trampoline park and I was, I did something weird, don't know what it was, landed it and I was like, I was way too cocky and I was like, let's just try double. And it didn't end well, it, that <laughs> happened. Hey, the fact is you tried it and you failed and you're gonna try it again in the future. You're not I'm gonna, gonna try it in the water Maybe. next time. Holly, that looks painful, son. Hey, I'll be fine. I'm strong. Alright, so we're just checking the oil. The coolant. Got plenty of coolant. Oil. Take our oil out of here. Anna, watch closely because you do this in a car. Yeah, I know. I've done this a lot. You have? You're on the boat? Yeah. Awesome. I've had the 
Sweet. So holes at the second notch there. That's where we want it. We don't want it too full. We just want to kind of second notch down. So this engine hadn't been bur burning any oil since we crossed the Atlantic. Okay, let's go check the other one. So we've got right at half, which is where it was the last time. So we're in good shape here. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up before we leave. What happened? Oh, fill leak? No, I didn't have this on. So let's get that no. cleaned up. Let's get that. I just took a shower. I'm so clean now. Is there yeah. fuel down there, Anna? Oh yeah. Fill it up then? Well, I do that. You know you have two other kids, right? I do. All right, get Finn. Did you wake him up, Anna? I did. All right, let's Finn, get down there. Finn, come on, I need your help. What? Well, why can't I do that? Oh, you can. Get on the dinghy. I just don't want to. Do that. Yeah, go ahead. You don't weigh any more, Jack. <laughs> oh. Do you and Jack weigh the same amount? That was missing the pee I weigh like. I'm two. like 20 pounds more than he is. Not now. One sure I am. Three. I got these. <laughs> I, I got don't, these. Don't, those don't count for right, nothing. Get on there. Where did they go? Put that. Oh, they were in there. See, was that so hard? My extra 20 pounds. Are you serious? We hit him some more than that. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Throw that wet one in here. That one sitting right there. After filling up with fuel and checking all the fluids, we set off for a four day passage to the Bahamas. Goodbye, Puerto Rico. This will be the third time saying goodbye. <laughs> So we are, we were going to go around the north side of Puerto Rico, but the winds today seem to be better for the south side. So we're going to take the south side and sail instead of motor 16 miles into the wind. And we'll just sail and then we've got the Mona Passage to deal with and we'll just deal with that. So that's what we're going to do. So why did you drop the main? Because it was being rude. We don't like a rude main. We don't like a rude main. What's wrong, Anna? Really? It's the game. What's wrong? It's not a game. It's the game of the century. I know. I wish we'd have done school before we left because I'm trying to help everybody with school. Okay, well, maybe we call off at school today. One day. We could hey, 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 don't step on that. A little later and got okay. school done. I know. I just want to get out for weather got bad. I know. But it's no big deal. We, we'll call off a day. We got, all, we got all day to do school. We just got to set up sales right now. If you call off school for today, we have double to do okay. tomorrow. Well, you, got, you, you can do it on a Saturday or a Sunday. So I wanted to wait a couple hours before we set sail so that we could do school before anybody got nauseous. But Keith was in a hurry. And so we are already heading off to the Bahamas. We started school a couple of days ago, Monday, January 14th. So everybody's got new concepts to learn, some new curriculum, and it's, I'm, I'm needed in many areas. I need to help them. I need to film, I need to help with sales, and I'm feeling sick. I need to lay down, but it's all good. Love I told those boys to put that boom over on the side. Boys, put the boom on the side. Zip the sail bag up and put the boom on the side. Zip the sail bag up and put the boom on the side.
south side instead of the north side? The yes, the, wind, the winds were in our favor to go south. But you said there were storms on the north side. Well, there will be. All these storms roll across the island from the south and hit the north side. And Wiz is going up that way? Yeah. But they may not hit it. They may just put it out there. Yeah. Five point six knots. Which type of sentence appears below? What is your name? Uh, it is A M. A A A M. It's not in there. I'm. Wait. Request. Excitement. Information. Interrogative. Good or interrogative. Interrogative. Witness. Interrogate. <laughs> to interrogate means to ask a question. So an, hey, listen. So an interrogative sentence means it's asking a question. <laughs> oh boy, I love school, homeschooling. It's just such a blessing. Such a blessing. Talk to me. Tell, tell me what is on your mind. Please. Still have internet? Yeah, like a bar. Bar. Yeah. Ah, hey, let's go see what Jack's doing. What are you doing? I don't know. The door is shut. Could be sketchy. Yes, ma'am. Can 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 I enter? Yes. Ma are you decent? I no. am. What are you doing down there? I am trying to fix the thing because it keeps going off and it keeps sucking and it's the bilge. It's, yep, and it's just being fatty. No. The thing that floats in the water whenever the water gets here, it goes up and then it activates the bilge and then it sinks back down. Whenever it starts filling up with water, it'll go up and then it'll activate. So if it's too high, it'll activate. So that's why I gotta raise it up a little bit because there's not as yeah. much water because it's the float. It's lowered. Sensor. Yeah, it's lowered a little too much. Yeah. So I gotta, gotta put some under it to prop it up. Built stinks. Yeah, it kind of smells like you in the morning, huh? Uh, yeah, no, hey, at least my nose doesn't like your nose! Only eight <laughs> So, this passage has been excellent. It's been really easy. It's been calm, but not so calm that you can't sail. We've got uh, 12 knots of wind right now. And this is the second night of our probably four night shifts. We've probably got one or two more after this. Um, I'm hoping that we can stop in Turks and Caicos instead of going all the way to my iguana. But uh, Keith is keeping an eye on weather. He said we may not have time to stop in Turks and Caicos. I don't know. We missed it the first time around, and I would really like to see it if we can. Um, but anyway, we're going seven and a half knots. We've got the spinnaker out. It's a beautiful night. Uh, the moon is super full, and it's gorgeous. Uh, that's not the moon. That's just a flashlight that I've got right there. It's kind of bright. I don't know still trying to perfect night filming anyway we're not sailing with Wiz anymore they I think went around the north side of Puerto Rico and we were on the south side and so we'll hook back up with them probably in my iguana somewhere in the Bahamas they're going back to Florida just like we are um, so anyway it's been a great passage and uh, we've got a couple more days to go and all is good uh, here is our 6.8 knots 6.7 on speed over ground. We're on a heading of 321. And we've got uh, 11 knots of wind. Traffic out there, a couple of boats here, nothing really to worry about. That's about it.
my family doing? Did you just make toast and just butter it and not put jelly on it? Yeah. What kind of freak? Then I have a cat now. Is she in there? Yeah. There's two. So hey. One. I'm a cat now. I attached a tail to They're my like butt. Love seed hammocks. We're going within a mile of it. Yeah, but how far away? From here? Yeah. There's 20 miles now? <laughs> Let me have a sip of that. It's 20 miles? Yeah. It. You can see 20 miles out. It's pretty flat. I'm sure it's, it's like it's a two flat. miles. Everything out here is flat, remember? Yeah, yeah like mom's here, chest. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> Come on, we have to Just switch because I wasn't like blessed with your <laughs> melons. <laughs> hey, little burrito. I'm a burrito. So we get to stop at Turks and Caicos. Actually, just West Caicos for a few hours to kill some time because we've gotten here a little too soon. We don't want to pull in my iguana in the dark. So we're going to kill a little bit of time in West Caicos, do some diving or swimming or whatever, take a nap and move on to my iguana. Stick for I'm you. Throw it away. Throw it away. Run. Throw it away. All right, Dad. Oh, I forgot to filter. I have boat cake. Yeah, don't bring it. This isn't a good video. Do you want me to? It's gonna collide anyway. I'll just take a couple shots of a swimming. It'll be fine. There you go. Get some pictures. Just yeah. Or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Dad, you want your teaser? <laughs> Here. Come stay with me, honey. Please. He's already got his head under the way. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. We're bye. I didn't have a filter or light, so I didn't get any footage. I just enjoyed the dive. It was a huge wall dive, and we went down to about 90 feet. So that dive was awesome, and Wiz is pulling up soon. We're going to dive, uh, do a night dive with them, and then we'll head out this evening, or in a couple hours, to head to my iguana. Play magic, because I really want to play commander. Do you have to play magic? How often do I want to pick us up? Yeah. He's going to be looking. For what? Every 10 minutes. When we come to the surface, we'll shine light back at the boat. Oh, okay. That's what it tracks for. Yeah. Look how bad. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Turn around and show the camera. It's recording. You're so cute. There's so much love. Oh my God. Oh, you did that. Here, Finn, let me show you. Johnny, Johnny. You can turn on in there. This is stressful. I can't see like what I'm putting on in the water. You can turn off that GoPro up there. All right. Stop Peace out. After putting away our dive gear, we set up our sails and headed north 50 miles overnight to my iguana. Alright guys, so we are pulling into my iguana. We're about two hours out. That noise you hear in the background is a scuba compressor. I'm filling tanks. We did a great night dive last night on West Caicos. There's a beautiful wall dives there in West Caicos. If you ever get a chance there, they got dive buoys there. I think the dive boats use those during the daytime, but we got there in the evening, afternoon. And excellent two dives there. When we come back through there, I'd like to stop and spend a day or two or three there just diving that whole wall down on West Caicos. It's really nice. A lot of you guys may wonder why I shaved this part right here, my mustache. It's because my mask doesn't seal if I have that big old hairy Grizzly Adams mustache up there. So anyway, we left uh, West Caicos last night around midnight and uh, had a weather window, there's a northern coming in, uh, cold front blowing through and there's not much protection there in West Caicos so we went ahead and 
went up here 50 miles to uh, my iguana in the Bahamas. And we're going to stage there for a couple of days until that cold front blows through and the winds settle. Um, do, do some diving there too. Should be the same kind of diving. Maybe get some lobsters going. And then we'll head up to Rum Key, do some diving in Rum Key, and then over to uh, Georgetown and then the Exumas. So, anyway, it's uh, easy passage. One of the easiest passages we've made in the last, uh, I think, ever was from Puerto Rico up to uh, Turks and Caicos. Man, a lie. That was just a great, calm passage. We had 12, 13 knots of wind at the right angle. My ASIM was just almost, it was almost too high on the wind for my ASIM because the, when the forward wind, when the apparent wind moved forward, it was up around 90 degrees and it would fold the leading edge of my ASIM back, but I pulled her tight and uh, was able to do six, seven, eight knots all the time and 10 knots of wind, 11 knots of wind with the wind, the true wind being about 120, 130 on the, the starboard side. As far as the fishing goes, guys, I want to address that. We are getting better at killing fish. You guys see the... You guys see that when we catch lots of fish, we've tried, we've tried everything in the world to get a fish killed. And, and I do need a bigger gaff. That's the only gaff I've had, and I, I, I need to buy a bigger gaff. When I get to Bass Pro Shops in Florida, I'm going to get me a good gaff. I'm going to get me a good club. You know, I'm a, I'm a sportsman. I don't like animal, animals to suffer or fish to suffer any more than anybody else. We used to use rubbing alcohol. That's what I had on the boat to stun the fish. And they still just squiggle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I mean, they're just flopping all around. I've been lucky enough to gaff most of the fish right into the brain with the gaff and, and kill them right dead there. But sometimes I'm not so lucky. And the ones you guys see on film, <laughs> that's the comedy hour or the cruel hour, whichever you want to call it. But yeah, I don't like seeing fish suffer. And uh, uh, I try to be as humane as possible, especially to things that are feeding us out here. So anyway, uh, that's my rant for the day. I don't know much else. Talk to you later, guys. Join us next time as we explore the gorgeous Bahamas. 